still make your order, sir. Um, yeah, my lady will be here soon. She'll, she'll place the orders. Okay. All right. Roland said you have not eaten anything since morning. What's the problem? Grandma, call my daddy. Come, go. How are you like this? Kiki, darling. I've told you before that your daddy has gone to work at the sea. And over there they don't use phone. So whenever he comes out, he will call you, okay? I miss my daddy. I want to see him. I want to talk to him. I know. And you will see him soon. Okay? Okay, girl. So, shave up now. Is that why you are being like this? Is mommy and Uncle Roland not trying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to eat your food? I should go and bring it. Yes. No, no, come. Let's go and get it. <coughs> oh. Oh. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? You're beautiful. Nothing has changed in the last three years. That's the last time I saw you. As a matter of fact, you're even more beautiful right now. Is that why you called me here? Okay, if you don't have anything good to say, Edna, 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 Edna! Oh, so this is it, right? Is the reason you lied to me for the very first time? No, no, no. This is, this is my ex, Mike. Yes! Mike, your ex! But what I don't get is why you're still hanging out with him and even lied to me that you're going out with your friends. That's because I'm her husband and we're planning on getting back together. Can you stop? That's not true. Oh, Steve, it's not what you think. It's fine, it's fine. I should have known that you're not different from every other woman out there. I should have known that a day like this would come. Steve, I can explain. It's not what you think. Yes. Don't talk to me! Explain what? Explain to me that you lied, or oh, that you didn't lie. Which one? Edna. Yeah, you know what? Just give the explanation for the dogs. Edna, Edna. See, see. Yeah, right. Girl, there's this new style I saw on the internet. It's so beautiful. It has a slit on the right leg. See, the next O one B I'm attending. Hmm. I must rock it. I know, right? Are you going to add a corset for that extra snatch? Of course, why not? I need to show the curves, you know? Yes, now, let them see us. You know? <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Hey, Hello? Oh, calm down. Be calm, calm down. Mike, okay, all right, I'm coming. Who was that? Mike. Mike. He said he wants to see me ASAP. ASAP? What for? I don't know. He sounded broken on the phone. So are you going to see him? Yes. Maybe the date didn't go well. Is Michael? Why are you going to see Mike? Our friend's husband. Ex. Come on. I have to go know what's wrong with him, okay? Just hold on. Let me go change. We can, we can live together. Okay. I don't understand you. You mean my Edna is having an affair with that guy? He's nowhere near her standards or level in life. Love has no standards or levels, okay? Okay, I need to listen. I know that I messed up in my past, but. I've realized my mistake. 
And I want my wife back. I want my daughter back. I want my family back. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get them back. Really? Why did it take you so long to come back? Why did it take you so long to ask for your wife's forgiveness? It's been three years. You left your wife and your daughter and ran off with another woman. What are you expecting? That she'd be single and lonely? Come on. Anita, I know that I messed up. But can I just have my wife and daughter back? Can you please talk to her for me? Just tell her that I'm a changed person. I will never cheat on her again. My heart beats for her alone, please. I'm not promising to convince her, but I would talk to her. Please, just talk to her for me. Lucy, why aren't you saying anything? What do you want me to say? You just have to be patient, okay? Just leave me alone. Ah. Why is Stephen not picking? Why is he not picking my call? At least let him pick so I can explain myself. Please give him time. Hmm? He will come around. When? Soon. Okay? See, I understand what you are going through. I do. But do you want to kill yourself because of Stephen? Ma, I'm better off dead without Stephen. God forbid. What did you just say? Oh, you now value a man more than your own life. Eh? So if you die now, what will happen to Kiki? Who is going to take care of her? Because I took care of my own child, which is you. So it's expected that you take care of yours too. Let him just speak. Oh.
does all this now? Eh? Where is she going? I can't believe she pulled this fast and fresh shit on us. See, me, I don't have time for this, so I want to go to my shop. Uh -huh. I'm going to my house, come I beg. On, come on, Let's just go to her house at least and wait. Okay? Please. now why are you doing this ah, lucy this is the time and place please. this is the best time why is she acting like a brat oh my god she just dare call me a brat that's exactly how you're acting over a guy that might still bump you you are insane and i you know what i do not want to have this conversation with you i'm done with this i'm done you, with this lucy edna i don't know anybody over edna edna i don't like what you're doing please come on we're your friends okay I'm just trying to help. I heard you. Hey, I said I heard you. Let's stop that. Lucy! I have heard you. I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. I'm sorry for coming to your house uninvited. But I didn't have any other option because you were not going to take my calls. <laughs> Edna, please give me a chance to make it right for you and our daughter, please. It's too late. I'm with somebody else and I'm very happy. What happened to the love we once shared? The love we once shared? You tossed it into the trash when you impregnated our maid. And you're in love with somebody else. And you stand in front of me telling me about love. Edna, please, just one minute. Please just get the hell out of my compound. Edna. Sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay, dear. What's up? Um, I wanted to apologize about yesterday. My uh, elbow yesterday was uncalled for, and I was just—I was just not in the best mood. I don't understand. I've been trying to figure out what happens to you and why. I went to Steve's hotel, and he has checked out. I—I oh. I don't know what to do, where to find him. I, oh, Edna. I feel like maybe I—I I don't know. Oh, Edna. Now you have to take it easy. If Kay is not taking, you're going to break down. You might lose it. Please, you have to put yourself together for your daughter, for your mother, for yourself, please. Okay. Look, Steve is going to be back, okay? I'm sure everything will fall into place, alright? Please. Can I talk to you, Lucy, please? I'm sorry. I'm not interested in anything you have to say. No, please, just hear me out. Can you just hear me out, please? Why? Why should I listen to you? You think I don't know the reason why you suddenly want Edna back? You think I don't know that the lady you left her for cleaned you out and absconded abroad? <laughs> Come on, right? 
I have my eyes and ears all over this town. So there is nothing you have to tell me. If you don't mind, leave my premises. Listen, Lucy, I know that I made mistakes in the past, but I'm a changed man. Can you just help me talk to your friend, please? Lucy. I just hope I'm not overreacting. I never knew I was so much in love with Edna until I met her with another man. But my issue is, why would she go behind my back to go out with her ex? And even lie to me that she was going out with her friends? Why, Edna? Why do you want to break my heart? <sighs> You even had to go back with the same person that hurt you. The same man that left you for another woman. The same person that hurt you in the past. No, no. You just have to hear what he has to say. No. This is the same thing you said, and I went to hear what he had to say. Look at where he landed me. I'm on the verge of losing a man who gave me the entire world. Because of this same said man. This man that abandoned myself and my daughter when we needed him the most. You, you think I'm going to leave a man who loves me dearly for a man who has hurt me? Really? See, I'm not saying you should go back to him. At least, just give him a listening ear. So he can actually explain his own side of the story. I am not interested in his own side of the story. I'm not. Look, I want Stephen. That is who I want. I honestly think you should channel all this energy in helping me talk to him. Wow. So you've actually moved on from Mike? Yes. Yes. Please. Just stop. Stop making me talk to him. I just wanted to be happy. Okay? <laughs> Why is Mike? Hello, Mike. Yeah, no, I just want to step out to get some stuff. You want to see me? Um, hope no problem. Oh, okay. Um, since you said it's urgent, I'll see you in half an hour. All right, no problem. Bye. Hey, my love. How are you? <laughs> I hope Uncle Roland is taking care of you. Uh, Don't worry, Grandma will be home soon. You want to speak with her? Okay. <laughs> Hello, my princess. I am fine. Okay, I'm going to talk to your mom. But meanwhile, just be a good girl that you are, okay? And stay safe. Okay, bye. Wow, ah, so your daughter is such an angel. She is. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, don't you think you have to reconsider? What? Because she doesn't really like the idea of being homeschooled. Mama, you know why I'm doing this? I don't want Mike to kidnap her from school. You know how desperate he can be. I know, but for how long do you intend to keep her at home? Huh? As long as I'm sure that she's safe. Yes! You know what I've been through in the past three years? Please, I don't want problem. I don't want to express it again.
What you asked me to do is difficult, Mike. You hurt my sister so bad and her actions are justified. Do you know how painful it was for me to watch my sister cry herself to sleep every night? The most painful part was when your daughter and wife cry in each other's arms. Your daughter don't even understand how, why you abandoned her. Roland, I know I messed up and I'm sorry. But please help me talk to your sister. Tell her that I'm a changed man. I'm willing to do anything it takes so, to make up for the mistakes I made. Please. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to her, but I won't persuade her into making any decision she might end up regretting. No, I'm not going to make her regret anything. Talk to her for me. One more thing, please. Could you give me grandma's address? I need to see my daughter, please. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Can you give me her number? I mean, grandma's numbers. I need, I need to speak to my daughter, please. I will need to take permission from my sister first. That's fine. I think I need to take my leave. All right. Picking my calls on. Yes, I'll go check on her at her office. Okay, yeah. Oh, you wanna come? Um okay. Let's say in an hour. No, 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 no. Not too much. Let me just meet you there. Let me meet you there. Alright, that'll be nice. All right, darling. Bye. Yeah, I'm fine. I've been here for close to 30 minutes now, and Etna is nowhere to be found. At this time? Don't you think that's strange? I'm telling you, we all know how Etna doesn't allow anything to get in the way of her work. Because I don't know what is happening. I hope she's okay. I hope so too. Okay, why don't we check her home? Okay. Miserable as you can see. Come off it. You don't have to put your life on hold just because one man stopped talking to you. Lucy, it's because you've never been in love. If you've been in love, you know how much it hurts when someone you love stops talking to you. If this is what love is, I don't want any of it. Edna, I understand. But we don't have to stop living, okay? Okay, I understand you don't speak our calls and you don't want to reply our messages. But why didn't you go to work? Look. Look at the brighter side. This might just be fate. It might be a way for you and your husband to get back together. God forbid. I am never getting back together with someone who actually left myself and my daughter when we needed him the most. Wow. This is actually deeper than I thought. Sis. Do whatever gives you peace of mind, okay? Thank you. 
By the way, have you had anything to eat? No, I do not feel like eating anything. Uh, yeah, so go upstairs, freshen up, let's go out and grab something to eat. Lucy, I don't want to go out. It's okay. Lucy and I can just go to the kitchen and prepare something for you, okay? Enjoy. But she needs to go out. She needs fresh air in her lungs. It's okay, let's go to the kitchen and look for something to cook. Alright? Come, come, come. Kiki! Why are you running? I want to go to school. I don't want to have to try to be teaching you at home again. Was that why you were running as if one masquerade was pursuing you? Didn't you see other children going to school? Didn't you see other children going to school? Yeah, come. Come. Don't worry, you go to school. I'll talk to your mom and we'll see what we can do about it, okay? Okay. Ah, you almost gave me a heart attack. Ah! Come. Yeah? I have to go. Why? I have to meet up with clients in 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Lucy? Yeah. Please take care of her, okay? Sure, I will. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your care and concern. Come on, what are friends for? <laughs> Bye, have a nice one. I'm smiling. Smile. I'm <laughs> smiling. <laughs> Bye, there. Bye. Bye. Look, I'm you, okay? Oh, okay. One second. Okay. Hi, sis. What are you doing here? What exactly are you doing here? Calm down, sis. I know I took your money the other day, but come on now. I might start money I take. No be a stranger on now. So you want to take another money, Abby? I don't have it. Far from that, sis. I'm here to discuss something very important with you. If you want to discuss one of those your ghost businesses, I don't have money for it. I cannot invest in it. It's not business this time, sis. It's about Mike. Please, I beg you in the name of whatever you serve. I don't want to talk about him. No, sis. I understand he hurt you in the past. But Mike is a changed man now, you know. I don't care if he's changed or not. Look, tell him that whatever we had was in the past. My heart belongs to somebody else. You should stop bothering me. No, oh, sis. Can you just understand and do this for your daughter's sake? Hey, hey, don't you even dare! Don't you dare stand in front of me and talk about my daughter? You were there when he was maltreating me. When he hurt me badly, you want me to talk about him? Please, I don't want to have this conversation again. Just have to calm down. Sis. Don't touch me. Okay. Can you imagine? Mike. Listen, I'm going to warn you, and this will be the first and the last warning I'll give you. Stay away from my wife. She's mine. She's mine alone. The next time I see you around here, you'll have yourself to blame. <laughs> <clears throat> um, the last time I checked, empty threats like this don't scare me. Well, call it whatever you want. But if you continue to remain a stumbling block on my path, I will track you down just the way I did today. <laughs> it's funny, right? No, just excuse me. And that's not a threat.
Thank you for honoring my invites. Uh, you and I are not best of friends, but I've called you here because of Edna. Since the last time you saw her with her ex, she's not been herself. She's emaciated. She's not eating. She won't take a bath. She won't even go to work. Please, Stephen, I beg you, just hear her out. I, I know your friend loves me. And yes, I love her too. But what I don't get is why she would dress up so nicely just to hang out with her ex. Mike. Lucy, you needed to see what she wore. I feel she's hiding something from me. Because Mike says something about them coming back together. That will never happen. Edna has made it clear it is you she loves. Please, Stephen, go make up with her and help her get her life back. Something in me is telling me to believe you. But what if at the end of the day Mike ends up winning her heart? What if at the end of the day you win her heart? Put your worries aside and go fight for the woman you love. Yes, go do that. How are you? Thank you again for coming. Thank you. I have to go now. What if at the end of the day, you win her heart? Put your, Put your worries, worries aside and go fight for the woman you love. Yes, go do that. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Babe, when did you wake up to prepare all of this? You should have woke me up now. I'll follow you to the kitchen. Yes, I know, but you were sleeping like an angel and I didn't want to wake you up. Besides, I've always wanted to make breakfast in bed for you. <laughs> this is why I love you. You are so caring. Come here. Let's eat. 
So you're going to feed me now? Of course, yes. Okay. Oh. Mm, I need jam. Oh yeah, I forgot jam. Okay, yeah. why don't you just take the tea? Oh, baby. Thank you. You like it? Uh-uh, I've not drank yet. <laughs> <laughs> At least I made breakfast in bed for you. I made tea and water. <laughs> Why so me? You put the tea in it. I put water in it. You're so sweet. Hello. Ah, <laughs> my beautiful customer. How are you? Lucy, where is my clothes? Calm down now, eh? Your dress is ready. My tailors gave you a masterpiece. When you see this dressing, you'll be so happy. <laughs> you see, you failed me so many times. How am I supposed to believe you this time around? Calm down now, eh? See, as I'm here now, I'm on my way to your house to deliver that dress. See, this dress is so pretty, eh? You will get it today. Don't worry. Lucy. Don't worry. I'm telling you, you will get it today. Okay? Calm down. Ah! <laughs> All right, I've heard you. I've heard you. Okay. <laughs> Lucy, where's my clothes? <laughs> You're looking so beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lucy, where's my clothes? Uh, actually, um, so the clothes is right here, but so like something just removed. So my tailors just want to fix it. You know, you know, like that masterpiece. We want to give you a masterpiece. Eh? Lucy, do you think I am playing with you? No. Do you take me for a fool? Lucy, I am just coming from your shop. And my materials are still uncut, untouched. I'm sorry. See, I'm, see, we've been swamped with work. Eh? I'm sorry. See, we're going to work overnight. I promise you. First thing tomorrow morning, you will get that dress. And it will be a masterpiece. Coming from... Almighty Lucy, that has been promising and failed me so many times. Lucy, I will drag you everywhere okay. on social media. Lucy, I will destroy you, your career. You think you, you think you can play with me, right? It's not like that. You think you can play eh? with me? It's For how like long that. have I given you my clothes, Lucy? For how long? Eh? Oh, so we've just been swamped. You know this is our season. We're just swamped okay. with so much work. Eh? You know now, you know when I, I will give, I want to give you a masterpiece. Mm. That's why I'm taking my time to make this dress. It's not today we started. I will, I will make a masterpiece for you. Just stop lying and be straightforward. Liar. Hello, <laughs> my beautiful customer. <laughs> See, my dispatch rider is on his way right now. I just gave him the dress. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't worry. This time out, I just gave him. He just left my shop now. Within two hours now, he will be at your place with your clothes. Ah, don't you trust Lucy again? Don't worry. See, this is a promise. In two hours, you will have that dress. Two hours. Uh-uh. <laughs> don't be angry now. Calm down. Eh? All right. <laughs> Oh, 
come, I didn't see all these missed calls. I'm calling back, maybe he has information for me. Yeah, hey, I don't know, for some reason I missed your calls, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't hear the phone ring. You have any information for me, it's power. I had a client, 18 months ago, who I was trying to convince to buy that land. Now, 18 months later, that land has appreciated 300%. I'm telling you, it's 3,000 square meters. It's a dry land, don't worry, it's a dry land. Yes. Oh, come on, Chief. It's a dry land. You can build anything, trust me. Yeah, it's cool, a plaza, it's in a gated community, so... Yes. Chief, you don't have to do anything much. I would handle the paperwork for you. Trust me. Just send your assistance to me and everything is handled. Okay, Chief. How is the family, sir? Okay. Send my greetings. Thank you very much, sir. You have a lovely day yourself. Bye. Oh. Single lady in the city, they are all famished. Go away. When and how did you get in here? I thought I wanted you to stay away from my wife. She was your wife, but you played her dirty. Now, she's my soon-to-be bride. So, if you don't mind, white boy, you can leave. You're joking, right? The last time I checked, I, I wasn't laughing when I said what I said. You look like a clown. Okay, Mike, I'm, I'm not here to exchange words with you. Like I said, use the door. And if I don't, Mike, I said leave. And if I don't leave, what are you doing here? Honey, who's that? Um, honey, it's Mike. He came looking for his lost toy. But it's fine, I can handle it. Um, Mike, I'm not sure you'd want her to come down here and see you rant like a little dog. Anyways, like I said, just take a leave. my girl. <laughs> Uncle, do you know what Grandma said? What did Grandma say? So what did Grandma oh. say? Welcome, Grandma. Oh, I Uncle, Grandma. Okay. Hi, baby. How are you? What did Grandma say? Mm. How did it go? It went well. Wow. Guess what? We have good news. Wow. The governorship candidate of our party has appointed me to next Woman did that. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. Mom, I'll be taking Kiki to Edna tomorrow. Okay, so have you told your sister about it? Do I need to tell Edna before coming to her place? Of course. What's the sense of having a phone? So you have to contact her and tell her. What if you get there and she's not at home? So what do you do? Well, maybe you just call her yourself. Kiki. Let's go again. You, you are not calling your sister. No. Okay, I will call her. Kiki, darling. You're having fun. You're doing well. Thank you. 
Enjoy yourself. You look like you've seen a ghost. Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. How can everything be okay when a bloody gold digger is stealing my wife? But he didn't steal her. You dumped Edna because she wasn't good enough for you. And now you can't stand seeing her happy with another man. What exactly is wrong with this gender? You see, I didn't come here for you to scold me. I came for you to plead with my woman. Because I'm losing my bloody mind. I went to Edna's house. I saw the scumbag there. I'm sorry. I can't help you. You see, just help me, please. I, I need my wife and my daughter back. Please. I, I can't really do that. You see, my friend's happiness is more important to me. And she's happy with Steven. So they have my full support. I thought you were on my side. I used to, but now I am proudly Team Steven. <laughs> Mom, yes, baby. What of dad? Why is he not come to see me? Does he hate me so much that he doesn't want to come see me? No, princess. How many times have I told you your dad loves you? He loves you so much and can't wait to see you, okay? Yes. If he loves me, then why has he not come to see me? Why has he not called me? Baby, he's going to come see you very soon. After this trip, he will come around, okay? Okay, but call him. I want to talk to him. You want me to call him? Yes. But, baby, he's... Your dad is at sea and cannot use his phone. Oh, I'm hungry. Let me go get some pizza and ice cream. Can I follow you, please? Only on one condition. What condition? Here, come. Yay! <laughs> All right, sis. All right. We'll see you later. Be safe. Yeah. And bring some for me, Kiki. <laughs> Roland might be a pain in my neck, but he knows how to handle my daughter. I'm sure he'll make a very good father someday. I hope he finds a girl who is ready to overlook all his shortcomings. stars you survived this time. You won't be so lucky next time. for missing the opportunity to take my biggest rival out of my way. This guy doesn't want me to be happy or what? Wait, he almost ran you over with the intention of killing you? Yes. He even said I was lucky enough to have survived this time. That uh, I might not be so lucky on his next attempt. You can imagine that. Oh, babe. 
This is why I tell you, please don't take public transport. If you're taking one of my cars, all this won't have happened. Um, babe, this is not about driving or not. My guy's literally after my life. I'm sure you would have run into me if I was driving. Um, see, babe, uh, I think I need to be very careful. And also vigilant too, because that guy is so serious about taking my life. I, I think I need to go to the police station, file a report, so that they can file a restraining order against him. <laughs> okay, that would be a very good idea. I won't forgive myself if anything happens to you. Okay, you know what's going to happen. We'll go to your hotel room, pack your things, and you come and stay here. Okay, okay. Uh, honey? Hello. Who are you? The question should be, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm asking, who are you? And I'm asking, who are you? Okay, um, my name is Steve. Steve? And what are you doing here? Uh, babe? Oh. You're the gold digger, right? What? You're the good bigger living off my sister. Did you just call me that? Oh, I think I know who you are. <laughs> don't worry, um, I don't think I have your time. But guess what, um, I want to do this with you. <sighs> my eyes are on you. Your plans aren't going to work. <laughs> um, honey? Yes, uh, I can't tell you that. Are you sure? Are <laughs> <laughs> you looking at me like? Of course, sir. Who said look? What? Jeez, stop complaining. <laughs> Man. is bent on taking you away from me. <sighs> I'm beginning to feel I'm fighting a lost battle. Baby, look at me. Look at me now. I love you. No one is taking me away from you, okay? Promise. I promise. <laughs> Stop being scared. I'm not scared. Yeah. Yeah, scared. That's I want what you're to thinking. Lose you. To who? To him. We die here. I promise. We leave here. <laughs> Hold on. Is everything okay? Why are you looking restless? I'm fine. It's just this ribcage that was brought to my table today. And the girl, she's a minor. How old is she? She's just seven. And her abuser? He's 31. Oh my god. That man should die a slow and painful death. I hope he's been arrested. Yes, he has. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that he doesn't see the light of day ever again. Good. Children abusers are the worst. They are not fit to live amongst us humans. I'm telling you, some men are callous. I mean, what are, what are you attracted to in a child's body? Like, you don't even know who to trust anymore. Oh, and to think that I, I get cases like this on a daily, but you think, oh, nothing's going to surprise you anymore. And tomorrow something comes to your table. And it's worse. It just keeps getting worse. You can't even leave your kids with anybody anymore. I, I don't understand it. It's just crazy. What is the world turning into? This world is turning into something else. Oh my god. Someone is to be castrated. Trust me. 
Just let's not talk about this. Please, what do you love to drink? Mm, get me fresh oranges. Hmm. Fresh oranges. Who's going to press that one for you? You know. You not <laughs> take uh, packed juice. Please, I want juice. So fit fam, my girl. Fit fam. for the past four years. Yes, even while he was married to Edna. He told me he was going to come back to her to get money because he needed to offset some debts. Wait. You were dating my husband while we were still married? I'm sorry, yes, I was. He, he, he went off with another woman. I was in love with him. I, I'm in love with him. Now he came back telling me he wants to get some money from you. I was scared initially, but I agreed. Now this his attitude of his is, is making me lose it. I, I can't believe this. Anita, so you've been pretending this whole time. Meanwhile, you were behind all of Edna's problems. Oh my God, you, you are evil. This is evil. You can call me whatever names you want to. Well, I'm not the only one pretending here. What's going on? Still, darling. You want to tell them or should I talk? What is she, what is she talking about? Um, um, uh, actually, I was contracted by Anita to seduce you and make you fall in love with me. Just so she can have my girl to herself. So, Steve. Remember the first time we met at the bar? I've not been around the office in a while. Mm -hmm. Girl, I do not miss it. That guy has been staring at you since he walked into this place. Look, I'm not interested in anyone staring at me because. Come on. Just, just give me champagne, okay? He's cute, though. <laughs> hmm. I'll pass. I'm not interested. Oh, leave a little. Mm -hmm. Leave a little. <laughs> it wasn't a coincidence. She, she had it all planned out. I'm sorry. 
please. I can't believe this. Wait, see, this guy has been up to no good. I, I can't believe he chose this loser over me. He, he doesn't love you. He was clearly paid to distract you while your friend here tried to steal me away. Just, just stay out of this. And you, you too, tiny bitch. You will pay for this. Um, I need everyone to leave. Um, please, please, Chief. Not one word for you. Leave. I, I can make Get out! You know you messed up my plans by opening that big mouth of yours. What were you expecting me to do? Well, you acted out of the script. It's obvious you're still in love with Edna. Yeah. I love my wife. Seeing her with that man just made me so jealous. There's no man that would love to see his wife with another man. Your ex-wife? I'm still married. Oh, please. Her parents return the bride price as long as I'm concerned. Listen, she's my wife and I want her back. I'll do anything I can to get her back. And me? What of me? What about me? Where does that leave me? Listen, Anita, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I led you on all these years, but I love Edna. I'm sorry I toyed with your emotions and all of that, but I, I don't love you. You told me you were in love with me. So you want to spend the rest of your life with me. Yeah, so I lied. Okay, I lied. And I, I don't want to hurt your father by keeping up this lie. I'm really, really sorry, Anita. But we have to end things now. I'm sorry. <laughs> My worst fear has caught up with me. Steve, Steve, why didn't you tell her the truth? Maybe she would have understood and forgave me. Ah. Now, I've lost the one thing that meant the world to me. The one person I fell in love with so much. Why? so unfortunate? Why am I so unlucky? First it was Mike and now Steven. Steven that I thought that loved me with all of his totality. I'm getting to find out I was playing out a script by my friend. Why? Edna, Edna, 
it's okay. Eh? It's okay. You can't you can't keep doing this to yourself now. Eh? Try and sleep. Get sleep. some rest. I it's... can't sleep. How am I supposed to sleep? My heart is shattered in a million pieces. I can't sleep. It's okay. It's stupid. Okay, you'll be fine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you use a white embroidery to run the neck, I yeah, mean? Yes. Is it white or gold? White is better. Hey. Yeah. White is perfect color for us. Okay, okay, oh, let's just suggest. let's just keep going. Because no there's no time again. No. It's alright, no problem. Baba, give us as are you still caught saying? Can we meet up with demand? Okay. There's no time again, no, please. Just but well, you'll cut everything today, I mean. Please, please. I need all hands on deck. Dele, what's happening? Why is nobody sitting here and walking? Hi, Steven. Hi, Steven. Uh, Steven, I'm busy. I don't have time for pleasantries. Go straight to the point. Hi, hi. Please, can we go somewhere private and talk? I, I just want to pour out my heart to you. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, Baba, so just keep cutting. Make sure the boys keep sewing. I can't afford to lose my customer, you know. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you for coming out here with me. Lucy, I know your hatred for me has no bounds. But please, hear me out. I. It is true that I was paid by Anita to become a distraction to Edna and also keep her away from my husband. I used to think I was a strong man without a heart, so I took up the job because the pay was very good. Getting closer to her. I realize she has these rare qualities you can hardly find in a woman. I mean, not just any woman, but any woman as rich and sophisticated as she is. She has a good heart. She never lets her wealth get into her head. She's always very happy. And even look for ways to make everyone around her happy. You can imagine there was this, there was this time I had a huge financial issue. She just stepped in and saved the situation without even asking me. Uh, please, please just give me a little more time. I promise I'll get you the money as soon as I can. Eh? Um, you know what, um, please, uh, where I am right now, I can't talk. Yes, I promise I'll call you back as soon as possible. Uh, all right, thank you very much. Hey, babe. Hey. I never knew Edna overheard my conversation. She collected the phone number that called me, put a call through, and they told her how much I was owing. She paid off a debt of three million naira without even telling me. That singular act melted my heart, and I fell so much in love with her. I just didn't want to hurt her, so... I started looking for ways to break up with her. <laughs> well, let me not bore you with my long stories. The bottom line is that I love Edna so much. Like, I truly do. I just want to tell her this to her face, but she blocked my number and blocked you on all social media platforms. I wish I could just, you know, see her one last time before I leave town. But... <laughs> It is what it is. That's Edna for you. She's such a sweet soul. Everybody who comes in contact with her just falls in love with her. 
Um, you mentioned you're leaving town. Why? Uh, actually, there is nothing left for me in this town anymore. Me and Edna, we shared a lot of memories I will never forget. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I'll just move into a new city and start a new life. So you won't even stay back to fight for the woman you claim to love? I just have one last fight in me. Um, <coughs> will you do me a favor? Sure. Anything. Um, I'll send you a text. You'll have to help me forward to her. Is it a love text? <laughs> just, just help me forward it to her. <laughs> sure. I'll do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, for what is what, I don't think you're such a bad person anymore. That's fine. I just hope she understands this. So, um, when are you traveling? In three days time. Three days. Okay. Have right. a safe journey. Thank you. Yeah. Um, just help me till I love her so much. She will hear. <laughs> I have to get back to work now. Oh, sorry I took you away. All right. Bye. Thank you. I'm coming. What are you doing here? What exactly are you doing in my house? I'm here to eliminate what's standing between me and the love of my life. What are you talking about? Say your last prayer, Edna. Anita, you have to come. Shut up! Say your fucking last prayer! Please, say your fucking last prayer! Oh. That's the last time I saw you. As a matter of fact, you're even more beautiful right now. I said you should stop calling me. Haven't you done enough damage? Stay the hell away from me. Stop calling me. Rubbish. Uh -uh. Edna, please give me a chance to make it right for you and our daughter, please. Just do it. I'm with somebody else and I'm very happy. What happened to the love we once shared? The love we once shared? You tossed it into the trash when you impregnated our maid. And you're in love with somebody else! And you stand in front of me telling me about love? Somebody!
come downstairs. Come on, sit down. Let me see. I didn't brush your hair. Huh? Hey. Hi. 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 What are you doing here? Um, I read about Mike's death on the internet. Hi. Yeah, I wanted to confess it, but I thought you may you needed some time to be alone. Thank you. I got your letters. Are those words true? Yes, of course, yes. Like, they're from the bottom of my heart. I'm um, actually we're going to the cell entry. We want to go pay our last respect to Oh, uh, do you mind if I come along? Sure. Okay, for me, we can go together. Years now since I've been asking you out. Can you just say yes to me and make me the happiest man in the world? You know, I do admire your persistence, but I'm just knowing to love, marriage, and all of that. No. I think you should go find a girl who wants that. But it's you I want, Lucy. Just say yes to me, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 